Ezekiel 40 represents a critical shift in Ezekiel's prophecies, moving them from themes of judgment to restoration. And in this chapter, Ezekiel receives a detailed vision of a new temple symbolizing God's plan to restore his presence among his people. It's kind of a blueprint for spiritual renewal. The chapter opens with Ezekiel transported in a vision to a high mountain in Israel where he sees the structure resembling a city. Then listen to what it says in verse 3. As he brought me near, I saw a man whose face shone like bronze standing beside a gateway entrance. He was holding in his hand a linen measuring cord and a measuring rod. He then goes on throughout the rest of the chapter to describe in detail the temple and the outer courtyards. But the precision of the temple's measurements here, it really emphasizes the sanctity and intentionality of God's plan for restoration. This temple vision goes beyond architecture. It's about God setting the stage for renewed fellowship with his people, symbolizing his presence returning to dwell among them. The meticulous detail in the temple's design reflect the careful attention that God pays to restoring his relationship with his people. The vision reminds us of the New Testament promise found in 1 Corinthians 6.19, which tells us, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? So just as the temple in Ezekiel's vision was carefully designed and measured, so are our lives intricately woven by God's design intended to be dwelling places for his Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 40 challenges us to consider how we align our temples, our lives with God's design and purpose. Are we constructing our lives as sanctuaries that honor him and welcome his spirit? This chapter calls us to reflect on our spiritual construction, making sure that our lives reflect his holiness and purpose.